everybody, what's going on? I am Crystal Alexander and welcome to my page. Today I'm actually going to talk about something that I get asked all the time. Like it's probably one of the number one questions I get asked when it comes to building my business online is how do you have the time for this? Um, I work a full-time job. I've built this business to be at a point where it makes a full-time income. I have a family. Like we're living life, right? So that's the number one question that I get. So today I'm going to talk about, I made notes. <laughs> I wrote down seven tips to actually help you manage your time and talk through what I do and how I did it, um, how I grew this business while still working a full-time job. So if you do hop on live, uh, can you please say hello? Let me know you're here. Maybe tell me where you're coming in from. Uh, and if you catch the replay, please do the same. Just say, hey, and let me know where you are watching from. So one of the biggest things you have to do if you're working full time and you want to build an online business is you have to find time in the cracks of your day. Now, you have to find the time. And sometimes you have to make the time, which we're going to go through. It's super important. So the first, well, like I said, there's seven. I wrote them down. Otherwise, I talk too much. <laughs> so number one is going to be small tasks can be completed in like two to three minute time frames throughout your day. So maybe you're you went to the grocery store and you're waiting in line. You can respond to messages. You can get a post up, uh, things of that nature. Um, you can comment on posts, you can respond to stories, you can get your stories uploaded. So there's a lot of two to three minute uh, time frames throughout your day where you can do small tasks like those. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is to set a timer and use it. I cannot tell you how many times I like open Instagram um, and or I open Facebook or open any social media app and tent on working and all of a sudden I'm scrolling and I'm watching videos or I'm distracted on something else or all of a sudden I'm not doing what I was intending to do when it came onto the platform. So set a timer on your phone and go with intent into what you're doing. So say you're going to um, respond to messages, go right into the messenger app, set that timer, get it done. Okay. The cool thing about our organization as well is that we have what we call power hours. And this is where we have guided tasks, step by step by step, what to do for an entire hour. So you're working your business for an entire hour, being led by a six figure earner um, or up who is telling you exactly what to do to grow your business. So set timers, use them. Number three, have, have a DMO list. A DMO is technically your daily method of operation. So this is like your to-do list, okay? These are things that are non-negotiable in your business. For me, um, I like, to, for example, I like to empty my inbox and messages at a maximum of 24 hours. So I usually respond to people much faster than that or minimum, whatever. Um, but it's never over 24 hours. I will get back to people within 24 hours, usually much faster, but that is my um, bare minimum. Um, stories, messages, posts, alive, any of those things are on my to-do list and I just go one at a time throughout the day. One at a time throughout the day and I get my to-do list done. I don't go to bed until it is finished. And the best part about that is that when you start to realize as you get towards the end of your day, you're like, I did not manage my time well. I could have done this earlier or I could have gotten this completed instead of watching 30 minutes of TikTok or 30 minutes of some show. Um, so I, I do that all the time. I have a to-do list and I just check it off. And I actually just shared with our team the other day the to-do list that I created in January of 2020 when I started taking this business more seriously or taking it serious for the first time. And it wasn't a ton. It's not this huge long list. But I got it done every single day. And um, actually, tip number four, and I'll talk about what I did. Tip number four is to go live while doing other things. My biggest tip. Um, for me personally, I cook. 
it's actually something I enjoy. Um, you can find another hobby. So maybe cooking dinner, go live. Are you out for a walk? Go live. Um, maybe you're waiting in the car while your uh, kid is practicing and you have to be there, go live. You're doing two things at once. The biggest part um, of that for me was in January of 2020, I started going live every single day. I would come home from work. This is when I was still in the office. Um, I'd set up everything in the kitchen and I'd go live. I'm gonna cook dinner anyway. I'm gonna cook dinner anyway. So I would sit there and I'd go live. So two birds, one stone, right? So go live while doing other things, multitask. Okay, that's number four. Number five is know your team training schedule and plug into the ones that you can. Um, so this is how you grow. Like you, you always want to be a student. You always want to learn. Um, and you always, you want to plan things around these. So we have our team training. It's been varying Monday or Tuesday night, every single week. There's always a replay, uh, power hours. Um, there's some pop-up trainings in our organization, all so incredibly valuable. Now, here's something. Uh, when I was working in the office and I could maybe put in my headphones or if I couldn't, I set aside time during the day to watch the replay. So if I knew I couldn't get on a call and it was super important and I really wanted the training, um, I would say, okay, um, every evening at 7.30, I set aside this time to watch this training and I can watch the replay because we understand people are busy. You're not able to make every call live. So, um, know your team training schedule or set aside the time to get the replay. It's all valuable information. So number six, <clears throat> I wrote this down and it still kind of makes me laugh. Sacrifice for the bigger vision. We can't half ass it and expect big results. We can't go, Oh, I went live two weeks in a row. I'm not a millionaire yet. That's not how it works. And I just talked about this last night. It was so funny. <clears throat> One of the girls, um, she was uh, being so consistent, so consistent, so consistent. She's like, oh, just no, nothing is really happening just yet. I'm like, keep going, keep going, keep going. And finally, it paid off. Something about the algorithms. I don't know. But be consistent. Continue to show up. Sacrifice for the bigger vision. So I show up. Even when I don't want to, I don't always want to cook dinner live, right? It's the truth. I don't feel like always working. Like that's just the way it is, but you sacrifice for the bigger vision. Um, especially when I was doing this before and I was in the office. So I had to go into the office before I would get up earlier, half an hour and I'd stay up a half an hour later. So I'd be able to do those to do lists or those DMOs that I talked about earlier in this video and get them done. Because building this business was important to me and important to my long-term goals and my family. So sacrifice for the bigger vision. Number seven, and this one's huge, especially if you're busy. Even if you're just, even if you're not working full-time, you're just a busy human. We all have a lot going on, right? And if you can relate to that, you're busy, you have so much going on, you think I don't have time, I want you to drop relate in the comments. Okay, number seven, this is a big one batch create your content. I want to do a bonus one too. Batch create your content. <clears throat> if you think of something you want to post, write that down on your phone. Use the notes function in your phone. Write it down. Sometimes I feel like my best posts come to me when I'm trying to fall asleep. <laughs> right? And I'll write it up really quick. Or like first thing in the morning if I'm drinking my coffee and I really don't want to be on my phone, but I pick it up just to write it out really quick. Save things you like. I love Pinterest. If something just makes me laugh on there or makes me feel inspired or anything like that, I save it, screenshot it, content for later. Reuse content on multiple platforms. If I'm making a reel on TikTok or whatever you want to call it over there, I'm going to use that same content on other platforms. I'm just going to refinagle it a little bit. Okay. And then create a bunch at once. So when it comes to TikToks and reels, I do a whole bunch at once. So I have a lot to, um, so I have all of them there for the days when I don't have a lot of time. If that makes sense, drop yes. Um, so I create a bunch of the TikToks and the Reels in one sitting. Now the bonus tip, and I didn't write this one down, but it's something I've been thinking about too. Whether you're organized or not, 
And if you want to successfully build an online business um, for any reason, you guys, you don't have to want to do this full time. You can uh, just be looking for an extra $300 or $500 a month, right? Which can easily be done on social media right now. Um, <clears throat> and if you want to hear more, I want you to drop info and I'll reach out and I'll tell you about all the ways that you can make an income on social media. But my bonus tip is this, write out your week, whatever day that is for you. For me, it's Saturday or Sunday. And do I have it right here? I might have it right here in my notebook. I write out my week. This one is actually just the meals for the week. But then what I do is I write that out and then below it, I write out, which I'm not done yet. <laughs> I write out what I'm going to be going live about. What posts am I going to be doing? I plan out my week so that I don't have to overthink it. Because we're busy human beings, right? And when we get busy, and if we get to the point in the day where we're like, oh, I give up. I'm not doing anything today. So we overthink it. So take a moment every single week and write it out. You can do it on your phone if it's easier for you. I like to handwrite it. It gets me, you know, just something about writing always gets me <clears throat> and keeps me on track. But doing that is what helped me build this. So that is what I recommend. Write it out. <clears throat> like I said, even if you're not organized, you don't have to be organized <laughs> at all. I could show you this space in this room, not organized <laughs> at all. It is usually organized chaos, if that makes sense. But I'm telling you this because you write it out and then you don't have to overthink it. You know that you have, just like when you meal plan, if you wrote down six recipes for the week and you grocery shopped for those items, you know that you have enough stuff on hand for those six meals. So if you write out your week and you plan out your content, you know you have a post, you have a live, you have something for every single day. And the best part about that, too, is that let's say on Monday things get so hectic, um, you order a pizza, you have your lives planned. So even if you were going to cook, now you have a live that you can do. Maybe you have a business live you're going to do. Maybe you're going to pack trials. Um, maybe you're going to talk about three ways to get more water in um, if you're doing if you're on a health journey. You have stuff planned if things don't go as planned. If that makes sense, drop yes. So I hope this was super helpful. Honestly, um, building on social media is so much fun, <laughs> which you would probably sh be shocked to hear that I'm very introverted and very like, I can turn it on when I come on here, but then when I'm done, I can like take a step back, right? You don't have to be some outgoing, extroverted individual. You can do this even if you're shy and quiet. I promise you. Uh, so again, if I hope this was valuable. If you got value from this, please drop the word value. Share this out. And if you do, please drop the word shared so that I can thank you because I truly appreciate you. And like I said earlier, if you're curious about all the different ways that you can make an income on social media, I want you to drop info. I'm going to send you a video that walks through all the different ways that you can do that and how I can help coach you to that. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I truly appreciate you all. Um, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.